Home Assistant version 2022.8 was just released with a whole bunch of features and updates. One of the coolest features, I think, and the one I'm going to talk about on this video, is the Repair Center. The Repair Center is a way for you to figure out what is wrong with your Home Assistant instance, if anything, and potentially repair it. So I'm going to talk about that in this video rather than talking about all of the other features in the update. There are plenty of other channels that have the feature releases, including the live party that they just had at Home Assistant. So let's get started. Before I go any further, let me just clarify that I'm talking about repairs in Home Assistant, not repair dashboard. There was a lot of discussion in various social media channels about what to call this, and it was settled on repairs. So let's take a look here. The Home Assistant repairs, that's what they're going to call it, integration will inform you about issues it has found in your Home Assistant instance that should be fixed to make sure your instance stays healthy and running for now and in the future. The repairs integration is enabled by default, so you don't have to do anything at all. Uh, you can find it under settings, system repairs. That's the repairs dashboard. If anything happens that requires your intervention, it's going to show up on that dashboard. Now, as of right now, if we look over in the Home Assistant blog where we talk about this a little bit, there are 25 different issues that can be detected right now. And if Home Assistant alert is found or a Home Assistant alert is found that matches something in your system, it will show up as uh, something in the repairs dashboard. Now, one thing to think talk about is that these are specific to your instance. So everything that you do, um, anything you have specifically tailored in your Home Assistant instance is going to show up as a repair. And then clicking on the issue will show you more information how to fix it or what to do about it. Now, talking about the Home Assistant alerts, there is a Home Assistant alert integration that alerts or integrates to the Home Assistant alerts website. So if you look at the Home Assistant alerts website, these are all the various alerts uh, that are currently available or currently known about in Home Assistant. And so you can come to this page anytime you want to. If there's something on here that applies to your system, it will show up in the repairs dashboard as well. This is enabled by default unless you have turned off or removed the default config line from your configuration. If that's the case, you need to go ahead and add the Home Assistant alerts line in your configuration.yaml and then restart Home Assistant. And then anything from this page that applies to your system, only things that apply to something within your Home Assistant setup will show up. So make sure you have that alerts set up as well, because that's going to give you an additional layer of alerting and uh, warn you of issues that might be a problem. OK, so let's see if we have any alerts that we need to take care of. And we'll go over to uh, my Home Assistant instant here. Again, you get to it through the settings, system, repairs. Okay, nothing to repair on my Raspberry Pi. However, let's go over to my production system. If we go to the same place, we'll go to settings. And already you see there's a two down here, which means that probably there's something going on. If I go to the settings page here, not only does it show up in the repair system section, it also shows up here on this dashboard. If you recall, this is where anything that requires an update is also placed. So if you go to system repairs, it's the same thing. So it's very, very conveniently located both here and also in the system uh, repairs section. So here's a couple of issues. If we just click on one of these. The Google Calendar YAML configuration is being removed. This will stop working in 2022.9. So this is one of those alerts that's a future state issue. You need to make sure that this is corrected before 2022.9. So that's the release in September of 2022. Configuring the calendar in the configuration YAML is being removed in the next version. I'm on 2022.8 on this video. Your existing OAuth application credentials and access settings have been imported in the UI automatically. Uh, so in this case, all I have to do is remove the YAML configuration from the file and restart Home Assistant. That is an easy one. And you can see that this is a warning here. So I can just do that su super simple. This one here, new Neato bot backs do not support existing API. Let's see what that says. This is also a warning. The new Neato bot backs no longer use the existing API that the current integration supports. 
So far, the Neato Data uh, D8 is using the new app and has no known API. So if you're buying a new uh, robot vacuum from this company and you have the D8, then probably you're not going to be able to integrate that to Home Assistant. Neato says they do have plans to add an API, but as now, any botvac that requires the new Neato app will not work with the existing integration. So I have since I have the Neato botvac integration that is showing up here and on the alerts page, you can see that the Neato botvac is also listed as an alert. And if I click here, you can see that it gives you some more details and then you can basically go down the rabbit trail and see that there's an active alert and it tells you all of what we just talked about. So those are the two things that I can fix right away. Uh, for this one, I can ignore it basically because I don't need to worry about it. I'm on an older uh, bot back anyway. This one I'll fix later on and then this will go away as well. So a couple of more things on this. There are many use cases for new repairs feature. You can expect it to be extended a lot with more detections in the near future. Now, one other thing I wanna point out, you only saw two things on here, but if we go ahead and we look at my logs, you'll see that I have quite a number of things going on in my logs, which means that the integration is not going to, or the uh, repairs is not gonna catch everything yet. So there's still the benefit of looking at your log files if you wanna go through and make sure everything is working as it's supposed to. So just keep that in mind. The repairs does not show you everything all the time, not yet. Hopefully at some point, the repairs will have a whole bunch of stuff and it'll cover most things that are related to Home Assistant. All right, so that was a really quick video on the repairs part of the new, or the new repairs integration for Home Assistant. I think it's gonna be super useful especially for us that don't have time to go through and look at every integration we have and determine whether there's something that's gonna break in the future or something that's broken now. Repairs is a great, great tool to be able to get ahead of things and to be able to fix anything that may, might be a problem. So let me know if you have any questions down below, hit me up in my Discord, uh, subscribe if you're not a subscriber and if you're a channel member, I really appreciate that. And if you're not a channel member, you wanna join or just give me a little thanks, click on those links down below and you can take care of that. Uh, with that, we will see you on the next video.